Hey guys, it's Meyer Thoughts, and today I have my draw extended tech target. It shoots about 80 to 85, which would make it one of the best pistols on the field if it weren't for, for the splats. But it's still a very respectable pistol. It, uh, the draw extension allows it to, to push the upper boundaries of its range. And because it's only draw extended, the K26 isn't that hard to prime. It's a very simple mod to do. You can see that it's been snub nosed, and the reason for that is that without the guiding barrel, which you cannot use on these newer micro uh, tech targets, because the CV CPVC will not fit through it, you really don't have anything to guide the barrels into the coupler. Plus, I didn't really have any speed loaders that would work with it, so I decided to snub nose it in a effort to make it as easy to use as possible. And you can see that it's got the draw extension, uh, it's about a half an inch, it's not anything huge, but that's the difference between 75 to 80 to 85, so it actually helps a lot. It's been CPVC coupled, uh, that's been epoxied onto the, the stock barrel, it fits very snugly, and I've also drilled out the air hole for greater airflow. So without further ado, I am going to do a firing demonstration. The one thing this tech target does is it has a lot of recoil, even a little bit more so than the the pistol splat, which is strange, but it has a lot of recoil, which means that it's really hard to get off level shots. But in a pistol round, uh, when you're shooting 80 feet away, that actually sort of is an advantage it starts to to hurt you when you get in closer but it's it's something that you have to account for i'm using this three barrel speed loader uh they're about six inch barrels a piece cpvc uh each loaded with a new style stefan southeast stefan sorry i am now going to shoot at french green lantern as always There's one, I couldn't actually tell if that one hit because I'm busy kind of aiming. Here's number two. That one went overhead. You can see that when you come in close, you really have to account for, for the, uh, the recoil. I've loaded uh, an extra step in that'll fire, but this is the third shot. That one definitely hit him. Again, at the top of the head, you can see that it really has this recoil. And it will take some getting used to, but this is the fourth shot. And that one hit him right in the mask. So, it's, it's a very powerful blaster. It has a lot of recoil, which you might not be used to, so you gotta kind of learn how to use it. Uh, this, because I have my splat, I probably won't use this at at wars very often so if you are in the southeast area and you don't have a pistol this will probably be available as a loner blaster thanks for watching